Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about my raw food essentials. Now, I have been eating a mostly raw diet for several years now, and I do have periods of time where I eat only raw for weeks or months at a time. I did a video series, it was basically a collection of what I eat in a day is where I was eating fully raw for a month and giving you guys like recipes and meal ideas and things if you want to go check that out. Also on this channel, I will be making plenty of raw vegan recipe ideas. Now on Instagram, I was asked if I could say what I think are the most essential like staple foods to have on a raw vegan diet. So I thought of things that I use every day, things that I think are pretty much essential if you want to make any sort of fun raw vegan recipe. And I think that's important when you start a raw vegan diet is to, especially in the beginning, make it very exciting for yourself. Eat things that maybe aren't totally healthy, like make things that just taste really good and get you into it. And then you can slowly factor out stuff and simplify and do whatever your body craves. So let's get right into it. Number one, dates. Dates are awesome. I think that they taste really good. I eat them on their own all the time. Dates are extremely calorically dense. They are very sweet and they have a consistency that's really good for like binding. Now I use dates when I make desserts all the time. It's the sweetness of the dates and the texture of the dates make a very great consistency for any dessert um, and a great flavor of course. And dates are also good for texture when you are making like raw oatmeal or if you're putting them in a smoothie they add that natural sweetness and i love them highly recommend 100 percent and back to the calories thing sometimes it's hard to get enough calories on a raw food diet especially if you're keeping it low fat so just chuck a couple dates in where you can and you'll definitely hit your caloric needs all right bananas you have not lived until you've had a frozen banana smoothie not kidding when i was a kid and used to have smoothies all the time it would be like a regular non-frozen banana and then ice and then whatever milk peanut butter i don't know and yeah that's good and fine and whatnot but when you freeze the banana and don't have ice in it the consistency is amazing it's so creamy when i make smoothies i generally don't even blend them with milk i just blend them with water of course, I'm talking about almond milk. I will put some frozen bananas in, maybe some other frozen or fresh fruit, some greens, some protein powder, whatever, just some water and blend it and the bananas make it so creamy. And it's not even an overpowering flavor of banana. And you can make nice cream with frozen bananas as well. When ice cream takes like 15 seconds to make, you just take your frozen bananas that have already been chilling in the freezer. I recommend just putting a bunch in there and forgetting about them. Peel them first and put them in a bag or something. Um, but you just chuck them all in a blender or food processor, maybe add a little bit of vanilla, maybe add a bit of cacao powder, blend it up. You don't even need any liquid to blend. It is so awesome. It's so quick and it's super healthy. Like you can eat ice cream for breakfast if you make it with bananas. And bananas are also a fairly calorically dense fruit, so it's another good one to pack in your day to get some good clean energy. Nuts are awesome and versatile in any diet. Whether you are interested in eating raw vegan, just regular vegan, I don't know, omnivorous even, they're awesome sources of fat. You can make them work in savory and in sweet dishes. Like I will use nuts to make desserts, I will use nuts in salads, I will use nuts to make fake meat. They are great and they're so full of vitamins, antioxidants, and essential things that your body needs. Like, don't be afraid of fat at all. Understand your own body and your own macros and what you need to make yourself perform at your highest level. Leafy greens, preferably dark leafy greens. This is where you're gonna get your micronutrients. You need macro and micronutrients. You're gonna be able to get like your iron and your folate and your vitamins and everything that you need from dark leafy greens. The darker, the better. I really recommend finding one and falling in love with it basically. Like I used to not like kale and now I love, love, love kale. 
like I basically made myself like it because I know how nutritious it is and it's the base for my favorite salad which I'll be putting out a recipe video for later although I did make it a couple times during my raw challenge it's just so good on a raw diet to really pack those greens in where you can you can even throw some in a smoothie like throw some spinach in a banana smoothie in the morning and you won't even taste it all right lastly protein powder protein powder is not essential 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 to life okay when you're on a vegan diet or a raw vegan diet it is kind of a misconception that you're going to be deficient in protein now in this day and age on any diet it's so rare to be deficient in protein and it's really only if your body has some sort of pre-existing condition that makes it impossible to absorb protein the idea of protein 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 on a vegan diet is kind of overrated but if you are an athlete like myself it's kind of nice to have protein especially when you are in the business of muscle building or a fat loss even because protein is the is the macronutrient that takes the longest to digest and it keeps you fullest for longest and you're using a lot of your basal metabolic rate to digest that food which will help you lose weight i just recommend having some finding one that you like there's plenty of raw vegan protein powders my favorite is my garden of life and you just put a scoop of that in a smoothie. You can put it in nice cream. You can put it in dessert. If you make a cake, you can just put that in there. But yeah, these are my raw food essentials. These are what I recommend if you are embarking on a raw vegan diet to incorporate into your life. Um, don't listen to me if you don't want to. I am not like a registered dietitian or nutritionist. I have just done research on it for years and years and years. So do whatever you want, it's your body. This is what I like to put in my body, and I'm just sharing it with you as requested. So, thank you so much for watching. Please check out my links in the description. Leave a comment if you want, and I will see you guys next time.